did you two so, ever did you two ever train together? Yeah, a few times. Yeah, uh, it's Jim. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't know if uh, I told this publicly, but uh, Jaros, here's uh, uh, Ronnie coming into my gym and he goes, "Good, you want to train?" So I said, "What are you training?" The back. I said, "Okay, okay." I always want you know back, you know, back with Ronnie. So I follow your training. So he said, "What do you want to do?" He by rows, okay. And I put the two plates, and you were like, hey, 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 what's that, what's that? I said, what do you mean? It's a warm-up. Run his warm-up is six plates. What? <laughs> yeah, and then we took those, you know, the small ones, you know, the, the thin ones, Aleko uh, plates, he did nine, and then he did 12. Yeah, I, used to, I, I went up to 13 plates on that, you know. <clears throat> yeah. On, Imagine on only T-bar rows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, second leg is uh, bend over rows. Okay, he starts with the three plates, four plates, five plates, five and a half plates. Yep, yep, boom, perfect form. Like, of course, I can't even pick up the three three plates. You know, <laughs> shit. What is next? Dumbbell rows, and then oh, you only have a two hundred pound dumbbells. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because I guess you have a three hundred, right? <laughs> Uh, we had 250. 250, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and then there was the deadlift, right? Deadlift, uh, you know, at the end. Let me tell you. And that was, I think, 2002. And 2002, I had uh, that uh, little incident, so I didn't train for a while. Next morning, you know, Ron is pulling up the gym, and uh, he's going to walk to the front door. I walked the back door, and I ran away because <laughs> I wasn't ready for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, we did train, uh, we did train the legs, you know, yeah. later on, and uh, that, was, that was wonderful. And that's uh, when you were at the, at the hardest. But Ronnie, okay, <laughs> another thing, I don't know if you remember, somebody in my gym asked you how much you can bench with 100 kilos. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, I don't know, there was one thing is the powerlifting, how much you can do, you know, just uh, how much you can bench. Yeah. And how much can you do with 225? Yeah, I don't know. And you lay down and you did 88 reps. <laughs> 88 you reps. Oh, I did. I did 72 uh, at, at, in a contest one time back in 90, 96 <laughs> with <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Iron Bull. That was the yeah, 90, 1996. You know, I, I remember. You know, I because he. He told me he could do like fifty or something. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta get my I gotta work on this. So I went and worked on it. And, and by the yeah. time I finished working on it, I got to like 72. So, you know, years later, you know, I'm gonna probably do a whole lot more than 72. <laughs> you did it. You did 88 in my gym. I wish, you know. Now nowadays everybody has the cameras and all this shit. I, I didn't I didn't tape it. But that one video. Uh, you, me and you training the back, it's somewhere on a, on a tape because Milamar taped it, but I, I, you know, just, I can't find it. Maybe one day it surfaced. And, you know, okay. uh, I, I would love people to see it. Ah, yeah, 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 we had a good workout that day. I remember that. <laughs> you had, I, I had a nightmare of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was so different about the way Ronnie trained, Milos? Well, listen, uh, that, that's inhumane power. You know, really. I mean, you pick up the weight, right? And it's like, a, he made everything look easy. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you saw him squatting this, what was it, eight plates? Yeah. 870 pounds, right? And you, like you said, you did two, two reps, but you could see there was another three, four left in you. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, That's what I was upset about. Yeah, this is kind of power that he has. I mean, listen, he was playing with these 200 pound dumbbells like nothing, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so there it is. But but okay, Ronnie. Because a lot of people even ask me now, what do you think? Would Ronnie change anything now, uh, knowing that you know what you know now? Would you train differently? I train heavier. You would train even heavier. <laughs> I I, I, I would have got uh, at least uh, three or four more reps with that hundred. Yeah, I know, I know. But in general, because okay, here I'll put you on the spot. You said that. 1998 version of Ronnie would be 2003. Yeah. Okay. That means that uh, that quality and size that you already have was way 
sufficient, right? And and uh, I mean, uh, going every time you pick up this eight hundred pounds, two hundred pound dumbbells, it's a goddamn risk. Yeah, but it was still light though. <laughs> I love me less likes that. All that stuff was light to me, to me though. I, I, I believe it. I believe it. I, 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 I wasn't doing it. <laughs> I wasn't doing it to uh, you know, get bigger and stuff like that. I was doing it because it was light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but okay, so you see, Dexter Jackson, right? He kind of saved himself. Right? Uh, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. That's that's for you know for people that you know <laughs> just say themselves to do. Uh, he's just a he, he's not a top in the world. He's just a he's just another guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, guy. You, yeah. you need to be the best all around. You know, better than everybody. Yeah, I rather that's... be best and better than everybody than than to compete for forty years and just be average. Okay, but Dexter wasn't average. Come on, Dexter was uh, Dexter was a special kind. Yeah, I mean, but, but I you mean, were already. I mean, this, this is what I said. I'm talking about winning uh, many Olympias. How many times did he win the Olympia? He only won one. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, but it's average. Yeah, it's average. you know, I agree. I mean, listen, what you you accomplished. Only Lee Haney accomplished, nobody else. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but by all means, we all love you, respect you, and uh, uh, for all of us, you are the greatest of all time. By all means, and you brought the next level. But uh, uh, focus on this. You still said that 98 version was your best one. Yeah. So you know, uh, uh, looking looking from my perspective, I would probably not push it so much for the size. Yeah, it's a heavy weight. You you make it harder by doing it differently, safer, slower, squeeze more, whatever, right? I, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, look, it's a very touchy subject because now you have uh, 13 surgeries or 14, right? Yeah. So so when you look back like this, you know, I could have maybe prevent this one if I just uh, didn't push it that hard. No, no, see, people don't understand. I hurt my back. Uh, in high school and college, I didn't hurt it getting ready for the Olympia. They think I heard it doing it, getting ready for shows, but I did, didn't. Yeah, but you see, I didn't see any injury on your lats until maybe 2004. Mm. When was? I, I don't, I don't remember you injuring it though. No, but there was a Olympia when Pop your some... lats just wouldn't pop like normally. And the one side was different. Yeah, it's probably something that caught up with me over time. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, you yourself weighed a long time ago, and you continued training that injured body part. It is going to eventually give out on you. Yeah, 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 for sure. Especially when you do the uh, 12 plates and three by rows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, me like me I said, you for see the future, you know. Yeah. Milos, Go ahead, Jeff. Milos, who do you think was um, came the closest to Ronnie in terms of who he competed against? Who do you think challenged him the most? And Kevin and Flex, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've seen Kevin uh, beat Ronnie a few times back in the day. And, uh, you know, listen, you guys have a only perspective from the audience. I travel with them. Yeah. I'm in a in a locker room with them, backstage with them, on the stage, you know. So you know you can see a little bit uh, more, and then you can see all the footage and and pictures. Kevin was phenomenal, and uh, until uh, you know '97, uh, yeah, it was tough for Ronnie to beat him. I mean, you know, he could all go either way. But you see, when, when in the in the IBB, once you establish yourself as a front runner, it's hard to be knocked off. Like I said, Ronnie Ronnie's physique was there already, ninety five. And breakthrough. Oh, now they see it was already there. But for Kevin, ever since he showed up on the pro stage, on a, he competed ninety three. Um, uh, was ninety three? Yeah, the the Chicago. That was a pro debut. You know, he was third, I was fifth. And then uh, uh, 
he won Night of the Champions. Mm. Already 92, from that first night. 92. 92. Yeah. 92. 92. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then he played second to Dorian. And then there was like battles between Kevin, uh, Flex, and Sean mm -hmm. until Ronnie arrived. And then Ronnie just took over, you know, everyone. Uh, at what point? But, uh, uh, Kevin, what... Kevin, I think that Kevin was uh, the biggest contest because he was more consistent hmm. than Flex. Fle Flex would, uh, you know, a few times showed up uh, out of shape. At what point do you think that uh, Ronnie really was kind of his most dominant? What what kind of years do you think he was really kind of literally unbeatable? Well, after, after 98, uh, let me talk about it. 97, he won the last show in Russia. Mm -hmm. And 98, in all the shows that he competed, he only played second to Kevin in San Francisco. And then he dominated everyone. Yeah. Uh, 99, of course, uh, I mean, I was there. Uh, lineup is... Ronnie, Flex, Kevin, Dexter, Marcus, Nasser, right? Uh, for me, 99 version of Ronnie was phenomenal. Uh, lights at British Grand Prix, as you know, maybe bring another dimension. Yeah. Uh, top three guys were, you know, the best top three they ever step on stage. This is, this is how I see it. 99, top three were the three best bodybuilders at the same time on the stage. Ever, my opinion. Even flex. What do you think, Ronnie? I totally agree. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, definitely for Chris, definitely for Chris and Ronnie. But I think um, I think Flex looked always looked better at the Arnold Classics for me. He never really nailed it at the Olympics, but he looked spectacular at the 93, 97, 98, 2000 Arnold Classic. He looked phenomenal, but he never really quite brought that to the Olympia. Um, Milos, Chris Cormier, we had on with Ronnie a, a couple of months ago. And he said, he said the thing with Ronnie was, he said he was very quiet on the tours. He said he's very hard to read. He said he was a very quiet guy. Was that, did that kind of mess with your minds a bit? Oh, for me, no. I, I struck the friendship with Ronnie and, and I'm instigator. I always talk. We always talk. <laughs> but, uh, you know, probably Ronnie didn't uh, find me as a threat because he was much better than me, right? And, uh, I mean, I always felt good, you know, talking to Ronnie. You know, Sonny Smith was man of few words. I keep, you know, bugging him, talking to him all the time. You know, because I know he's a good person. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ronnie, I know back in the day we were together with Matrix. Yeah. Remember the Matrix times? Yeah. You know, then uh, that uh, Barcelona uh, guest was again. Listen, Ronnie was in the beginning like struggling bodybuilder. He wasn't, wasn't making much money, right? Nope. So anything you can do to make uh, more money, you know, they want to, you know, maybe give some advice and, and uh, uh, encouragement and all that stuff until the, the he, you know, flipped the switch and start making millions. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, I mean, you, you interviewed Ronnie. And Ronnie, I'm saying this publicly, you are here. You're the most lovable bodybuilder of all time because you're down to earth humble champion you know human that cares for everybody else and I always appreciate you always made a time for me which i really appreciate yeah <laughs> anytime i listen i call him from china say ronnie can you give a little bit the boost to my chinese uh, bodybuilder and, and say something and he sends him a message you know <laughs> with max charles you know and it, it's always available so this is what makes you my favorite bodybuilder and person in, in the industry for of all time. <laughs> yeah, I always pick up the phone. Yes, thank <laughs> Same you. Same number, too. <laughs> Never thank change my number like Kevin. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's kind that's of the fact. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, right. Right, so, any yeah. uh, what was your what was your favourite kind of story travelling together then, Milos? Travelling together, I mean. Uh... <laughs> yeah, now, now I'm gonna put put the Ronnie on the spot this, uh, again. <laughs> First time we were in uh, in uh, Hong Kong, and uh, remember there was Bolo Young, and he took us to this restaurant, yeah. and it was just like a like a Bruce Lee movie with the you know gong, and then like 15 people come in and bring all kinds of food, but there was we we couldn't recognize what is what, so we just keep eating. <laughs> And Ronnie, you and RQ Girly were eating something, right? Yeah. Did you think there was a chicken? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but there was a rat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was, so I remember that one very well. Yeah. I, other than that, I mean, listen, uh, rat meat. Because we were with the Matrix, you know, we did uh, so many of those appearances, the photo shoots. Yeah. How long did you stay with Matrix? Uh, five, six years. Five, six, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. then, you know, probably even longer than me. Yeah. Did 90, you have your... 94 to 99. Yeah, did you have your bonuses scheduled in your contract? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 I did. Uh, I think this is what I advise you, no? Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, you see, you, you get a certain amount of money like this, but then you compete and you get, the, uh, uh, you know, the prize money uh, match, and yeah. then every time you shut up with the Matrix logo, you know that they, they gave you extra, so you do the, you know, thousands of photo shoots, and now uh, you have like ten pictures for chest. Yeah. You know, these kind of things. Yeah, I, I was actually making a double, uh, the money from a contract from my bonuses. Yeah. Bonuses. Exactly. Is, yeah. is, is that is that why you both competed so many times? Yeah. yeah. Among other things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to make as much money as we could. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Listen, this is how I look at it. I'm a pro bodybuilder since 91. And there is a contest. It's a work day, right? It's not yeah. like Monday I'm going to show up, Tuesday I take off, and by Friday I'm not going to, you know. It's an IBB contest. I can compete. Uh, I'm going to compete. Yeah. You know, every show is the opportunity to make money, to make connections, to make, uh, you know, new friends, to make possibilities for uh, guest appearances, right? And uh, really, it's a history. I mean, I had a 72 pro shows. I don't know how many Ronnie you had. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would Not check that too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many pro victories you had? I had 26. 